every welded piece of metal, every bolt, every wire. Every detail is checked, double-checked and checked again as a new platform slowly takes shape to further develop Maersk Oil's operations in the Danish North Sea. When it's completed, it will weigh around 4,700 tonnes. That includes the legs known as the jacket, upon which the top side of the unmanned platform will sit. At 65 metres in length, it's almost double the height of Copenhagen's landmark, Honaton. This four and a half billion kroner project is an investment by the Danish Underground Consortium. Maersk Oil is the operator. It's expected to add another 50 million barrels of oil equivalent over the next 30 years, of which half will be oil and the other half gas. The Tire Southeast development is the type of project that we need in order to prove oil and gas recovery from the Danish sector of the North Sea. We see a lot of potential remaining, but in general the oil and gas is lying in deeper and more complex reservoirs. In order to get it out of the ground, we need to continue to invest, to use new technology and to do so cost effectively. The Tyra Southeast project is a step on that journey. It's June 2014 and the platform built by Danish firm Blatt Industries is leaving the port of Aalborg. It makes its slow journey to the Tyra Southeast oil and gas field, 220 kilometers off the west coast of Denmark. It's here that Maersk Oil plans to drill up to 12 wells, each six kilometers long. As soon as the platform arrives, preparations begin. The first job is to fix the jacket to the seabed. A water depth of 38 meters. Every precaution is taken to ensure the job is done as safely and carefully as possible. Once the jacket is in place, the top side itself is lifted. It's another job that takes patience and the utmost precision. Finally, the bridge that connects the new platform to the existing one is positioned. There's little room for error. It was a great relief knowing that the bridge was uh, installed and fits together between the platforms. Seeing this project here growing from a piece of paper to a fully complete structure which is installed in the North Sea, that makes us proud in the team. It doesn't end there. When the pipes and cables have been connected, drilling the wells will begin, which will take up to three years. Production will start in 2015, contributing to both Denmark's energy supply as well as its economy.